so we have seen how the east india company was founded right east india company which was founded by the english traders or the british traders okay in 9 in 1600 what they did they formed this company with the help of the permission taken by queen elizabeth 1 who was the ruler of england at that time and also they secured the rights and concession for the trade by the mughal emperor jahangir who was the emperor of our country at that time okay and with the help of these rights they established many factories at different places okay and the first fortified factory that is fortified factory i have explained that is it's a factory with defense okay with protection with military so they secured their rights okay with the help of the rights and the concessions they got for the trade they established many factories and the first fortified factory which was in calicut okay that was established in 1696 okay now what happened when the east india company was founded or formed after the com- company was found the company continuously they tried to gain more concessions okay they tried to gain more concessions more rights and they started to exploit the privileges that is whatever benefits they got they tried to exploit the privileges they took full advantage of all the benefits they took all the advantage full advantage of all the rights that was given to them okay on the name of trading they took the benefits they exploited the existing privileges the british traders what they started to do they started to deprive the local rulers of their revenues revenues means income okay so they started to deprive the local rulers and what happened when they started to deprive they caused enormous loss of income to the local rulers in india that is the people the rulers those who were ruling at that time they were facing a lot of loss in their income so now what had happened there was a nawab of that time named siraj ud dola okay so he was the nawab of bengal now he wanted to check the intentions of the british he wanted to know what they are up to what they want to do what they are willing to do or what are the evil intentions what are the bad intentions okay so to check this there was a battle fought between british and this nawab that is siraj ud dola okay he was the nawab of bengal now he wanted to check the evil intentions of the british and thus in 1757 okay in the year 1757 a battle known as the battle of plassey okay the battle of plassey was fought between british and the nawab siraj ud dola now what happened in the battle in the battle there was a commander in chief whose name was mir jafar okay so mir jafar was commander in chief what he did he joined hands with the british okay he joined hands with the british and with the help of mir jafar who was commander in chief in the battle the british won the battle against siraj ud dola so siraj ud dola lost the battle of plassey and now east india company became more powerful because they won the battle okay so now they had enormous of wealth as well okay now with the help of this enormous wealth that the british got and from this victory what happened their position in india was more strengthened okay they became more powerful so their position was strengthened and what they did they rewarded mir jafar by making him the nawab of bengal because siraj ud dola had lost now he had lost the battle british had become more powerful 
after this victory and what they did they rewarded mir jafar by making him the nawab of bengal okay so this was about the battle of plaza which was fought in 1757